Hey guys, if you've liked this video at the end, please subscribe, hit the bell to be notified, like and share, enjoy. Hey guys, all right, we're gonna be working on the blind back. All right, so with the blind back, well, first of all, we're gonna to try to avoid doing it. All right, in a situation like this, don't do the blind back, don't. The pull of you turn over here or, you know, face this way and do a side side. All right, just, well, just like this here. So again, we have the lines that are pointing the trailer because that's very important. Here's where the axles are. And then we go off to the left. Let's look, let's go back to that a second here. Right? Let's look where I actually initially start turning. I know this is driving you crazy, me rewinding, and you just want to watch it. Anyway, tough. So right when I get to the end of the space, I'm going to crank it hard right. Now, when I get to like a 45 degree angle here, pointing to here, is when I start going off to the left. And when my tractor gets like parallel to this line here, is usually when I stop. Now let's point the steer straight. It's gonna start jackknifing. Now I'm just fine tuning it, just doing a little maneuvering here and there. Now again, this is not a blind side, obviously. This is how we wanna get into this space. Crank it hard. Now, I love the, the, the fact that my tires are on this side of the line and I'm still not hitting this trailer. All right, that allows me to do a pull forward. Try, if you're doing a 90 degree, first of all, try not to do it in one shot. Get as close as possible to this trailer over here, which means you're really far away from the other trailer and then go ahead and pull forward. Because probably you're not getting out and looking like you should be, but this is more of a skill and how to do it without getting out and looking. But again, if you're ever a little, uh, Worried if you're going to hit something, please get out and look. I do. If I know that I'm, if I'm not 100% sure I'm going to hit something, I will get out and look. But anyway, so now we got a nice straight back. As you can see, I'm, I'm off to one side, so I want to center myself. So I like to get back. Instead of me trying to center myself over here and then having distance, go all the way back. Give, give yourself a lot more room to pull forward. Here we go off to the right. Of course, now we go back off to the left again. Angle a little bit to the left, crank it hard to the right to straighten ourselves up in the shortest distance, and now we just do a simple straight back. Nice and easy. All right, again, that's how you would get into the space. So now let's do it uh, in, in a blind side. A lot more difficult. Okay, so here's our space. We look at our space. We're going to turn the exact same time, right? When at the end of this space, hard left. Now I turned, I, I actually turned a little bit too long in this one. Back off to the right. And usually I will make sure I stop at an angle where my tractor is running parallel to this line here of the trailers. Now, because I can't see, and nobody's perfect at blind backing, um, I end up jackknifing too soon. Now, at this point, you would get out and look to make sure everything's okay. All right, so I want you to note where the trailer axes are. See where the axes are? They're right in front of this one. And I'm nearly, I'm nearly at a hard jackknife. That's, I'm going to end up hitting this guy if I keep going. All right, which is fine, as long as you don't hit something. This is what the blind back is all about, is getting out and looking. So here, I'm, I get out and look. But obviously, I don't. I'm looking at my drone footage, and I see that I'm going to hit it. But this is where you would get out and look. So hard left, and we're going to do a pull forward. Well, I should have done a pull forward, but anyway. So this is this is me getting out and looking here, and you can see that if I keep going, because this ax these axles are on this side of the of this line, if you extend that yellow line all the way. So as you can see, too much. So let's pull forward, hard left. Pull forward, crank it. We've got to do this in the short distance. All right, I have to stop because it's going to be I hit somebody in front. So let's take a look again. So this is me getting out and looking again. Or maybe having a spotter, but oh, that's really close. Again, close is not hitting. All right, I can I can see what's going on here, but I'm not going to go back any further. Let's go ahead and pull forward, go off to the left. Let's straighten ourselves up. That, that allows us to see in both mirrors. All right, let's do a straight back for just a few feet, and then we'll jackknife again. Now this is not the best blind back. I'm telling you that that right now. All right. So now we're in the spot. Now we stop. We're going to do a pull forward, hard left, 
the straighteners up in the shortest distance. Okay, so now if you look in both mirrors, I can see the wall back here, I can see the wall back here, all I have to do is a straight back, and we're all good. So, we're going to do this again. Let's come in again. First of all, you wouldn't go, you wouldn't blind back into dust into this space. But let's say there was a an entrance. There was a wall right here. All right, you had all this room, and there's a wall right here. Obviously, you didn't have to blind back it in. So now we actually turned a little bit too late. I don't know if you remember that uh, we turned around this area, but now we're going to turn here. So three, two, one, crank it, hard left. Now I'm not gonna leave the crank on for too long this time. Okay, so now we turn off to the right. So we're not even using this area over here for right now. And I usually like to stop when my truck is running parallel to these li this line here of the trailers. I like to point my steers straight and see what happens after that. Come on now, Dave, point those steers straight. So I'm slowly jackknifing. Not really, I'm, I'm basically I'm looking at this bottom mirror over here, making sure I don't hit this. So I'm gonna go back as far as I can go until I, until I know that I'm not gonna hit it. As you can see here, now you may think this is a bad thing, this is actually a good thing. If I keep going, I'll hit this trailer over here. Emphasizing the word if, if I kept going, but I'm not gonna keep going, all right? Now, if you ever overshoot a space, this is a great tip. If you're gonna remember anything from this video, remember this, all right? So basically, I wish I was jackknifed more. So all you have to do is pull forward, Go off to the right, put yourself in a harder jackknife. So crank that steering wheel all the way to the right. Now, what it does, it's gonna bring the trailer tires over this way more and put you into a harder jackknife. All right, I didn't do anything. All I did is, is just crank the steering wheel to the right and pull forward and stop. Now, I'm gonna crank the steering wheel the other direction and put it in reverse. Puts me in a harder jackknife. As long as by the time the back of the trailer it gets to somewhat parallel to these trailers, by the time it gets to here, it's all good. So let's get out and look just to make sure. This is me getting out and looking. Actually, this is me. What I do when I'm blind, when I'm blind backing. See this window here in the top right? I gotta make sure that curtain is open. This is a cheat. It makes it makes it, it makes it, I make it look like I'm actually better than I am, but I'm not. All right, I actually cheat. Cheating is good if you can get if you can cheat and. Uh, and get into a spot without hitting anything, that's, a, that's good. So take the curtain off. Look, I'm able to look over my right shoulder and actually see out this window here, all right? So now I'm gonna pull forward. Uh, so we have no idea how actually how that made life so much easier. So I'm gonna, so we're reversing. So I'm pretty much parallel to the line of trailers here. Too close to over here. So I'm gonna stop, do my pull forward. Looking in my mirrors now, I don't need to stick my head out the window, not that I could anyway. Now I can see this wall back here, this wall back here, a straight back is all you need with little adjustments towards the end. So shortly after I've made this video, I made another blind back video for you guys. It's to teach you how to blind back without blind backing. It sounds confusing, but we basically are turning a blind back into a straight back. All right, watch it, take care, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Take care now, goodbye. So if you click on any of these links, I have some more backing videos for you and enjoy. Bye.